Hi, this is JB from Alexander Arkham. Welcome to the second part of the Alice in Wonderland campaign made by the Beard. And we went through the looking glass, so we go to Fool's Mate. And before that, we had to resolve uh, the interlude, the White King Queen. And uh, Wendy didn't want to hear the White Queen's rambling, so. Uh, for that, uh, we got one bonus experience, then we get the main version of the White Queen, which will be shuffled into the encounter deck. So I'll go through this card better when it is revealed, but basically it makes uh, the Autofail token, uh, the Elder Thing token and Autofail token, but we'll, we'll go through that when it comes out of the encounter deck, if it comes out of the encounter deck. Okay. Mm. Then we had to add one Elder King token to take back for the remainder of the campaign. And that is basically it. Then we also, because we went through the looking glass, we got to add the looking glass pool or whatever it was called into our deck, I decided to add it, and um, yeah, that is everything, so we had six experience to work with for the upgrades, and uh, you might see already one of the upgrades on the table, but we'll hop over to arkhamcdb.com and go through all of the changes in the deck, because there's a lot of it, so let's hop over to arkhamcdb.com. Okay, and uh, we are over on ArkhamCDB.com, and uh, I had six experience, so the first thing I added was Underworld Market. So this costs four experience because it is uh, excep exceptional. It uh, increases your deck size by 10. Also, you will, at the setup of the scenario, form a marketplace deck. And you shuffle 10 illicit cards together and make them the Underworld Market deck as your market. Yeah. And so uh, we will be revealing two cards from the market deck each round at the start of each turn. And I may spend one resource to draw one of them, place the rest to the bottom in any order. And uh, it is only that I can buy one of them each round. So that's that. So uh, the other thing I bought with the XP was Dirty Fighting. It is two experience, so that is the rest of my six experience. This helps me do stuff with my... When I evade enemies, and I will be evading enemies quite a lot with Wendy. Mm, then uh, because I got to add 10 cards into my deck, I decided to add uh, two copies of Sneak Attack. This will help me deal damage to enemies that I evade and I'm not going to fight. I'll just deal damage and get rid of them if I need to. Uh, two copies of Manual Dexterity. A lot of stuff in my deck uses agility, so that is why. Uh, one copy of Trench Coat, because I have... I want more um, clothing um, assets that I can attach the hidden pockets to. So this is another illicit card. So this basically gives me an extra uh, space for illicit assets. And it is in itself illicit, so it goes into the illicit deck most of the time. Then I added two jury rigs, so what is more funny than um, a jury rigged uh, lockpick. So with those high shroud locations you won't be breaking the lockpick that easily. And uh, yeah, that is basically it. So those were the changes, so let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, so we are set up here for Fool's Mate scenario. First off, let's read the story. So, scenario 2F, Fool's Mate. 
the winding paths through the rolling hills remind you of Miskatonic Valley in a way. You might feel at ease where it is were it not for the glimpses of strange creatures and wisps of shadows each time you look back over your shoulder. Your worries are compounded as the landscape smooths out tidy, tidy fields in perfect squares. Immaculate hedge rows and canals line each plot of land. The grass of each alternates between darker and lighter shades to contrast with its neighbors. The parallel with a chessboard occurs to you as this, at the same moment that you catch sight of several enormous white chess pieces, alive as any person, and grouped together fearfully. The pieces regard you, your approach warily and hold themselves proudly until it, a distant creaking and cracking sends them back to shuddering timidly. A massive storm of shadows looms several fields beyond your own. Turning but stationary. It is a travesty, is it not? You turn to find the White King staring grimly at the fearsome event alongside you. You think we once fought this uh, with such chivalry according to the rules of battle with the Red Army. You press the King on his comments, and he realizes rather suddenly that you are not a native of Wonderland. You are perhaps another visitor from Alice's domain. You have impact. Impeccable Titan. Completely wrong, but impeccable. Uh, my own army has lost its nerve completely, and I am in need of new forms. Strong and key. Brave and true. The king looks to you and stares in uncomfortable silence, with a disappointed look stem stamped on his face. You will have to do. You attempt to protest being drafted, uh, but the white ki king snorts impudently. Hush, hush, it's an honor to serve a king, you know. All you must do is travel to the 8th square and capture the Red King. Defeat the Red Queen as well, if you are able. You will, of course, meet with some opposition, but I'm confident. No, confident is the wrong word. Optimistic? Satisfied? Yes, that will do. Satisfied uh, that you will find success. Irritation builds with you... Uh, within you at the White King's haughtiness, but you consider the situation carefully. You enter Wonderland to seek out and destroy Turant Naga's shadows, and such a target is now within your sight. With any luck, you might even be able to convince some of the other white chess pieces to assist you in stamping out the corruption. With some resignation, you accept the White King's badgering and pro proceed to the edge of his defenses. The Cheshire Cat grins down at you from the battlements, launching lazily but eyes fixed on the distant shadows, terminating the far side of the chessboard. Okay, and um, we have an extra rule here, which is the chess movement. So, basically, pawns, uh, when resolving the hunter keyword, pawns work as normal, but then knights uh, move. Uh, in a row location move to a distant square, which is one location uh, on the map. Uh, if the knight, knight is at a distant square, it hunts directly to any investigator. Then bishops uh, move uh, from odd numbered row locations to uh, odd numbered and uh, even numbered to even numbered uh, and so forth. Then roots move one location at a time until it engages an investigator. If it moves more than once, it does not attack. Queen resolves the hunter effect as if queen were a bishop. Were a bishop, if the queen would not hunt as a result, uh, resolve the hunter effect of the queen as a rook instead. King, the king does not move. Heal one damage from all chess enemies in play instead. So those were the extra rules for this scenario. And then. Uh, I think we are ready to start, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so in the setup we start in the second second row, we have the White King in the first row. So the White King uh, basically lets you activate when you draw or gain resources. You can exhaust him and gain extra uh, cards or resources. And uh, 
And then we have the distance square here. So it is unrevealed. So investigators cannot enter distance square. Actually spend one crew per investigator to build distance square. Investigator as a group may activate this ability from any location. Then uh, let's read the act and agenda. Opening strategy. Your arrival on the front lines first move movement from the far side of the board. If any truce may was maintained until now, the time for it has passed. Chess enemies gain hunter and spawn seventh or eighth row. Pause when a chess enemy would resolve the hunter keyword. Resolve the chess movement section of the campaign guard, and uh, the doom threshold is four. And uh, then we have the act one across the board. You can barely make out the silhouette of the Red King's castle amid the darkened clouds ahead of you. It will be quite an ordeal to make it across the ruined half of the chessboard fields. Action, move and unengage chess enemy according to its movement rules in the campaign guard. Objective, when an investigator enters an, the 8th row, advance. Okay, and... Uh, uh, the skulls are minus X. X is the number of chess enemies in play, max 5. Uh, cultists and tablets, which we don't have, are minus 2. And if it, this token is revealed during a fight or evade attempt against chess enemy, you reveal another token. And elder, elder things are minus 1, minus 3, instead if you are at a, shadows at a, at a shadow location. And uh, basically, uh, the 8th, 7th, 6th and 5th row are shadow locations. Fourth, third, second, and first are not, but they are all chess and Wonderland and row locations, all of them. Then this is a chess location and Wonderland location. So that is everything we can start. So uh, we'll draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. We get lone wolf. I will keep that. We get French coach. I think we need resources. I'll take a fourth game bargain. And hmm. I'm really tempted to keep the trench coat. I'll keep it, yeah. So I'll uh, redraw these two. Lock picks level uh, one and Scotner's catalog. So I think that's a pretty good start. I think we'll um, mostly set up for on the first round, but that's really good. We get some resources, uh, we get some items to play. Okay, and uh, then we'll start our turn. So at the start of the turn, we reveal the top two cards of the uh, Underworld Market deck. Uh, we find Fence and Disguise. I will happily pay one for the Fence. And this gets placed on the bottom of the uh, market deck, so it rotates. First thing first, we will play fence. Second thing, uh, we will play Faustian Bargain. So we add two curses to the back, which is not good, but we need resources to uh, kickstart our play or hmm yeah we need we need the resources and uh, last action <coughs> just to keep my economy going I will uh, I'll play the lone wolf down. So we get resources next round. So that is my whole turn. Uh, no, it's not. Because I still can play lock picks as a fast action, which I will do. So we'll play lock picks as a fast action.
And that is that. So, uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw Peter Sylvester and we gain a resource. And I'll put one on Lone Wolf so we get that later. So that is the first round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a Doom. First encounter card is Deepening Dusk. Revelation attached to your location. The attached location gets plus one shroud. Shadow enemies at the attached location get plus one fight and plus one four. So I'll place it there. Uh, double action discard deep in dusk, but I think we'll just grab this clue and start moving up the rows uh, soon enough. So that is that. So we get the uh, lone wolf money. We get to reveal two cards on, from the top of the deck, and uh, we have the trench coat. So I think I'll pay one. Grab the hidden pocket, and this goes to the bottom. Uh, first action, I'll play the trench coat. Then, uh, because uh, this is already fast, I'll use fence to just play it fast here. Then I will investigate. Oh yeah, uh, fence makes it fast. If it's already fast, it's uh, one cheaper to play. So it didn't cost me anything. It's still fast. Uh, my second action is to investigate. I will investigate, and I'm using the lockpick. So uh, we are eight. But I mean seven versus two, uh, three. Seven versus three. It is uh, minus one, so we pass. We don't break a lockpick. And last action. I think I will spend the clue to reveal this. Action. Spend one clue. Reveal distance square. Investigators as a group may activate this ability from any location. So, it is a 10 shroud location with zero clues revelation in your Campbell log under Fragments of Alice Report Curiosity. Investigators cannot enter distance square. Fast triggered ability. If the white knight is on distance square, deal one or to him. Ready the white knight and move him to any revealed location. Investigators at any location may activate this ability. Okay. Well, that was the whole turn. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw letter code and we gain a resource. And we'll put one resource on Lone Wolf again. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card is Vanished Away, Search Peril. Choose a player who does not currently control Jessarka at the player immediately takes on. Control of Cheshire Cat. If there is only one active player, ignore this revelation effect. So it just searches. And threatened position. Put threatened position into play in your threat area. Well, while there is a chess enemy at your location, you get minus two to all skills during skill attempt uh, test, except during fight or evade attempts. Well, that's fine at the moment. So, first off, we'll receive the Lone Wolf, and we get to reveal the top two cards. Another fence. I think I'll grab that. And the pickpocketing goes underneath here. And uh, I will play... Use uh, fence. Play fence. So I have two fences. So it costs, uh, still costs three, it's not fast, and I can't use it to make it cheaper. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, everything 
I do as fast. So first action will move to the third row. Uh, three frog, uh, one clue. After you move to this location, as you as your first action, move to a connecting location. I think I will do that. Fourth row, three shroud, one clue, forced. After you reveal fourth row, put the set aside the white knight into play at this location and shuffle both set aside copies of absent minded into the encounter deck. Fa uh, fast ac action, discard the top card of your deck. Shuffle any other card from your discard pile back into your deck. Limit once per round. So we have the white knight here, and these get shuffled into the deck. So white knight is a uh, crackpot cavalry leer, wonderland chess soldier lunatic. Investigators at the white knight's location get plus one to all skills when resolving effects on or during attacks, evasion, or investigate attempts or on or against chess cards. Action parlay. Move the knight, white knight to a connecting location. Paused at the end of the investigation phase, if the white knight is ready and at distance square, move him to any investigator's location. Okay, so the white knight basically is helping us some way. So these get shovels in here. I still have two actions. And uh, I think I'm uh, at least investigating, or should I get rid of this? Uh, threatened position. It's quite annoying. Nah. Nah, yeah. I, it, it's, it's troublesome when I get to the uh, end and I need to defeat the Red King. So I think this moment I will you do the double action to just discard it. That is my turn. No enemies. We'll go to upkeep, we draw another lone wolf, gain a resource, and that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, 3 of 4, and counter card is Red Bishop. Wonderland Humanoid Chess Soldier, alert. Each other chess enemy at this location gains alert, and causes 2 mental uh, damage or, or horror. So, Red Bishop, so these uh, uh, chess enemies gain Hunter and spawn 7th or 8th row. So we are at the 4th row, so we don't want this to hunt, but we are uh, moving to the... Uh, we need one clues to advance to the enemy side. Just checking, yeah, we didn't need any clues here. Okay, so we're grabbing this clue, moving. I'm possibly trying to investigate again. This should be ready. So I think we'll put it on the 8th row here. Oh yeah, uh, did this go away? Paused at the end of the investigation phase if the white knight is ready and, and distance move him to any investigator's location. But uh, if the white knight is on a distance square, hmm. yeah, if we move him, he goes there. Uh, we might move him and then investigate, move him, and move to the fifth row. Okay. So, first action, investigate, and we are using the lockpicks. Uh, we are investigating 7 versus four, uh, 4, yeah. Uh, yeah, we forgot to do this. So, we get hidden pocket and pickpocketing, so I'm picking the pickpocketing. Hmm. And we will use both of these to play one cheaper. We get this. So we paid one cheaper. I'm running out of room, so I'll just put the big pocket in here. 
So it's fast and it is a lot cheaper. Then we will investigate. So now I'm using lock picks. So seven versus three. It is uh, minus one. We are not at a shadow location, so we pass. We don't break a lock pick. We move this knight here. Then we'll move here and spend one clue. Force route one clue. Force after you reveal fifth row, reveal the top five cards of your deck and draw each weakness. Reveal shuffle your deck. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Hoping to hit the paranoia. No. Uh, yeah, nothing really necessary. Okay, well we shuffle our deck. There's one clue here. Not, not to clue. And uh, if the white knight is on distant square, deal one horror to him. Ready the white knight and move him to any reveal location. Investigate that any location. Maybe we might keep him there for a moment. Super okay. We'll just summon him to the end when we need need him. Okay. Last. Yeah, so investigate, move the knight, and uh, move here. Okay. No enemy actions because we are at the fifth and this is the eighth, so it can't harm on us. So it just stays there. So upkeep, we draw Scoffner's catalog, and we gain a resource. So that is that round, and we ready these cards. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, so the agenda advances. Bliss Chess. Your preparations to cross the center line have been carefully observed. The red keys have stormed out from the darkened castle. You have noticed uh, from the first attackers that the pieces still somehow obey what you would consider normal chess rules. Is the Red King still gu guiding their movements, or is it such a core part of the pieces that they move instinctive instinctively, search and counter deck? and discard pile for a king's shadow and spawn it at the lead investigator's location. Shuffle the encounter deck if it was search. So we'll search for the king's shadow. There, we'll look at that in a moment. Shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, counter gambit. The battle on the chess fields continues with increasing fervor. Uh, red pieces flow out from the darkened half of the board with surprising speed to meet your approach. Chess enemies gain hunter and, and spawn seven or eight row. Or when a chess enemy would resolve the hunter keyword consult the chess movement section of the campaign guide. Four row, uh, I mean four doom threshold. <clears throat> then we spawn this at our location. So King's Shadow is a dash uh, fight, two health and dash um, away, uh, agility enemy, abomination shadow, aloof hunter. King's Shadow cannot be engaged. Pause. When you would leave King's Shadow's location, King's Shadow attacks you. After you successfully investigate or discover clues from your location, uh, deal one damage to King's Shadow. So that's an annoying because there's only one clue, so we need to waste one action to investigate this two times or just. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll just take a few. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so 
Then we draw the encounter card for this round, and it is Red Pawn. The first Red Pawn drawn each Mutter space can search. So I'll just spawn it here. And search card is discovered attack. Revelation put discovered attack into play in your threat area. Pause. After you enter an enemy's location or an enemy enters your location, place one doom on the enemy. Test uh, willpower or intellect for if you succeed, discard discovered attack. Okay, so I think we need to do some cleaning up this round. But first, uh, we'll need to. Do this stuff, so yeah, I think I may have moved that already. And we get two marketplace cards. So I'm taking the dirty fighting. And uh, well, uh, We'll just uh, investigate first, and I'm using the lockpicks. Actually, before that, I will exhaust both of these. Play dirty fighting as fast and minus one cost. Then I will, as my first action, investigate. So, uh, while attacking, falling, or attempting to evade an exhausted enemy, you get plus one, two skill value. After you evade an enemy, exhaust dirty fighting, take a fight action against that enemy, ignore Alu keyword for this attack. Okay, we are investigating. Uh, with the lockpicks, it is minus. There is a shadow enemy, so minus three, but we still succeed. But we break one lockpick. Well, mm, then. Do we want to try and get rid of that? Yeah, I think we'll move here. Spend the one clue. Oh yeah, the red bishop comes. I, I'm not ready for that yet. So we won't spend the clue and move yet. Okay. We'll try... Oh yeah, and we discovered a clue, so we deal one damage to this enemy. We could also just uh, investigate more. So we'll kill that next round and move. Yeah, we'll try to get rid of this. Um, I'm using my intellect. I'm not really needing those catalogs anymore. So I'm trying 5 versus uh, 4. And it is a minus 2, so we fail. I'll try again 4 willpower against 4 willpower. Uh, minus three. Okay, well, we need to get rid of that later. So this enemy hunts over here. Mm. And upkeep. Uh, yeah, we could deal one or this and move it three here because 
this helps defeating this one. Also, no, we'll move it next round. Okay. So that is that. Uh, upkeep, we draw paranoia. Lucky we have zero resources and we gain a resource. That was a good point to draw that weakness. And uh, yeah, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card is Animated Shadow. X is equal to the Engage Investigator's base combat, so it's what? Animated Shadow cannot make attacks of opportunity or be engaged by other investigators. If Animated Shadow is evaded, defeated. If the investigator engaged with Animated Shadow is defeated or resigns, discard Animated Shadow. Okay, so we get this enemy. I'll draw the cars from here. So I think I really need to pick up the 25 automatic. So I'm doing that. Now I need money for that, but that's another problem. Well, uh, we can defeat this by evading, and uh, we can then e investigate and uh, get, try to get rid of this. So, I will uh, deal one horror onto the white knight to bring it here. Then I will So that's a uh, fast action. First action is to evade this enemy and I'm committing uh, lone wolf to the evasion attempt. So I am evading. Oh yeah, I think I passed this because of Chessier cat and it it should be flipped. Yeah, so I'm going back on that. So yeah, I, I really don't need the knight then. Okay, so because Cheshire Cat, um, if I fail by one, I pull the minus two. So I think I pulled the minus two. Yeah, at, at the one of one of those, uh, I tried t twice. I pulled the minus two. And the last one, yeah, I just uh, didn't use that action. Okay, so it flipped. So now if I succeed by exactly one, I fail. So I'm trying uh, five versus three. Uh, six versus three to evade. Auto fail. I'll try again five versus three. Evade minus two, uh, so we fail and this flips. And last action, we'll try to evade. So five versus three, zero. So this is defeated. And enemy face, this guy hunts over here, hits us for one damage. And upkeep, we draw jury rig and gain a resource. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card is Edge of your vision test willpower X. X is equal to your location shroud value. If you fail, search and encounter with this card file and deck for a shadow enemy and spawn it's engaged with you. Okay, well. Hmm. I will test 4 versus 4. Minus 2, we fail. I'll just search the deck for another animated. Yeah, the chess pieces are not uh, shadow. Uh, 
We don't want another King's Shadow. I think it's, yeah, we don't want the Haunting Shade either, so this at least we can defeat by evading. So I think our turn is evade, evade and dirty fight this pawn. We're a bit stuck here, but yeah, it's, that that's the name of the game. These are slowing us down. So, uh, first we'll look at these two, and we don't have to take a either, we skip taking either of these. Then, first action. Oh yeah, I've been forgetting to use my pickpocketing. So, evading this one. Uh, 6 versus 3, minus 3. So, we didn't succeed exactly by one but we succeeded so this goes away we exhaust pickpocketing and draw a card thieves kit we'll uh, evade red pawn it is a minus three again we succeed exactly then we get to do a free action with the dirty fighting And I'm committing the leather coat to the test. So we are hitting for one, two, three, four against two. So hopefully we can hit. It is a minus one. So that is defeated. Last action. We'll investigate using the lock picks just to defeat the king's shadow so it's not following us 7 versus 2 oh yeah, um, before anything else no, we don't have the resources for that uh, I, I was thinking of playing the thief's kit but I don't have the resources for that oh yes I do, I forgot I have this so I'm using both, both of these to play the thief's kit no, 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 no. We don't need it. We'll uh, instead next round play the weapon. We need that more. Okay, so investigating 7 versus 4. Auto fail, we break a lock pick. That, that's bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep. We draw breaking and entering and gain a resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Encounter card is Red Knight. As the Red Knight attacks, you lose one resource, two resources instead if Red Knights move to your location before attacking. Okay. And the Red Knight has three he bites, two health, and four evade. So, I'll just spawn it here. Okay. First thing first, I will investigate using the lockpicks. These are ready. Oh no, no. Before anything else, I will look at the top two cards here. I'll grab the disguise. Yeah. No. Yeah, I'll grab the disguise. And this goes underneath here. So, uh, before anything else, we'll get this. Then we will use both of these to play fast and one cheaper the weapon. Then it has four ammo on it. I will play Jewelry Rig on it. So 
Det var som att det gjorde det riktigt i så och så. So three times we can use it to boost the ability on it. Then we will investigate using that block fix. Seven versus four. And we get a minus one, so we pass and we defeat one and deal one damage here. So this shad king's shadow is defeated finally. Uh, last action we'll move here, spend one clue. Forced after you enter six row test agility three if you fail immediately end your turn. Well, that's our last action, so it doesn't matter, but we'll test five, uh, four versus three minus four. We immediately end our turn, which is whatever. So, this enemy hunts over here. This enemy hunts over here, and we'll transfer this guy here by placing a horror here. Okay, that is that round. Oh yeah, that hits me for two horror. Yeah, so looking a bit hard. We're pulling a lot of enemies here, so it's, it's a bit hard. Okay, so we're ready up. We draw sneak attack, great, gain a resource, put a resource here. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. Okay, when did we advance? Eight row advance, okay, we're a bit away, away still, but getting there. So we had a doom, so we advance. Cardes Larine, the red pieces pause their fighting to bow and kneel as an imposing figure emerges from the shadow of the veil. The red queen, her face somehow both hard and soft at once, gazes hatefully across the field at you as power swells within her. The shadows pour from her robes and she begins to mutate further. Strike down the invaders, she bellows, raising towards you with Tremendous speed. If the Red Queen is not in play or in the victory display, spawn her at the 8th row. And this is the last and uh, file occupation. As the Red Queen advances upon you, the shadows spread with the speed of a wildfire toward the White Castle. Darkness begins to grow at the sky, and each piece of landscape appears like a Blackened copy of itself. Chess enemies gain hunters and spawn 7th or 8th row. Forced when a chess enemy would resolve the hunter keyword, consult the chess moment section and doom threshold is 8. Encounter card for this round is Hunting Shade. Well, it's a loop at least at the moment. Okay, well, first thing first, we'll check these two. We don't need them. First action is to evade this enemy. Uh, we are, uh, I think I'm counting it wrong, so yeah, we are five, two, five, two, three. But I'm, yeah, we'll get this. I could uh, breaking and entering, but I won't. Damn, we would have needed the third row <laughs> clue here, so we could keep the haunting shade alive, but no. Okay. I think I want to... But 
but we could uh, exhaust that enemy. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm playing the breaking and entering. So I am uh, investigating seven versus three. Okay, four at you. Okay. And this is against chess, so yeah, we succeed. We succeed by two or more, so I'll exhaust this enemy. We'll grab this clue. Then we will. Uh, yeah, so that was the first action. Second action, we'll evade this guy. And now we get plus one, so six versus three. Plus one, so this is evaded. And uh, we get to do a fight action. Immediately. So I'm just hitting... No. Yeah, I'm just hitting with this, so... We are fighting uh, 3 versus 1... Uh, 4, because we get plus 1 here, so 4 versus 2. And, uh, yeah, do we want to commit anything? No, I, I want to save the sneak attack. So, 4 versus 2, minus 1. So, we deal 1 damage. Last action. Oh, yeah, the damn knight will move. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll use this and one ammo. So we are fighting five versus two against this uh, red bishop. Oh yeah, and we drew a card for the evasion. So looking glass book, not useful at this moment. So we are um, six versus two because plus four, five, six versus two. Minus four. Well, we defeat this enemy. That's that's great. But next <laughs> next round we are in trouble. Yeah. Okay, uh, enemy phase. So this hunts on us. This hunts on us. This readies. Uh, well, we'll deal that in a moment. So we'll take two damage and two horror. So we're nearly dead. We'll go to upkeep. This readies. Okay, so I think we'll try to defeat the red queen at some point. We'll see. We draw a card. Gain a resource. Oh yeah, and uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Yeah, just just notice I uh, read this wrong. So force at the end of the investigation phase if the white knight is ready and at distance square, move him to any investigator's location. So should have come here a long time ago. And actually didn't take a horror. Well, uh, we had to do Encounter Cardis, flip the Cheshire Cat. Well, of course, that is not helping. And the White Queen. So, Revelation put the White King in play next to the agenda deck force. When a, a Elder Thing token is revealed during a skill test, treat that token as an auto-fail token instead. Discard the White Queen. 
and search red knight yeah we'll spawn it over there okay well uh, I think my only goal at the moment is to try and defeat the red queen so first off we'll look at these two no help and we'll get a lone wolf money. Uh, we'll do a fast action and play this guy's uh, one cheaper. It uses four su supplies. So I'll put these on here. Yeah, I think my only only objective now is to defeat the Red Queen and uh, then get defeated. But it is what it is. So yeah, because I can't even play the sneak attack because uh, we can't get it fast because it's only a trick. So, uh, first action, we will use this guy's... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we can slow things down a bit. So we'll uh, evade the Red Queen. And we are evading with uh, this guy, so... Let's see, we are five, six, seven versus three. And it is a skull, is the number of chess enemies in play. And it is, yeah, there are three, so we succeed. Because this gives plus one. So that's evaded. We get to draw a card, win this amulet, that's great. And we will do a free fight action with the dirty fighting. Oh yeah. We get plus two from this two. So we get plus two, plus four, plus five, plus six, seven, against three. Deal plus one damage. Uh, minus two. So we are 5 against 3, minus 2, and this doesn't really screw us. We get one curse out and we deal 2 damage to the Red Queen. We can try to next round defeat her. Okay, then we evade Red Knight using the Disguise. Uh, we are 4, 5, 6, 7 versus 4, minus 1. So this is evaded, and the kicker is that it's evaded and it doesn't ready. So we have time to defeat the Red Queen. And uh, last action, we will try to do the same to this guy using the disguise. So uh, yeah, we, 8 versus 4 was the last attempt. So this is uh, 4, 5, 7 versus 3. So it's minus 4, so that's evaded. Okay. 
enemy face, this enemy hunts here, upkeep, we draw a card, ready up stuff, and gain a resource, that is that round, <laughs> let's see if we can kill the red queen and move out next round. We had a doom encounter card for this round is overextended test agility three this test gets plus one difficulty and peril if you are at shadow location if you fail take one damage two damage instead if there is a chess enemy at your location if you fail by two or more lose two resources well we don't want to fail this so i'm testing four versus three and um, four versus four Six verse. I think we'll just uh, yeah. We we'll go six versus four. versus four, yeah. Don't get the trench coat bonus here. Minus two. We just barely pass. Okay. And then first action. We'll use the jewelry rig and the twenty-five automatic to Oh yeah, this is ready and engage with us. Oh yeah, um, I'm not sure if I did any of that. If you are engaged with the Red Queen, you cannot activate. Well, shit. I think I had everything in play already then. So, we just tried to rhetoric this, so we are fighting. Uh, oh yeah, I think I must evade first. So I'm evading. So we'll uh, put uh, these back. Skull is the number of chess enemies in play. One, two, three. We still succeed. And we get to do a free fight action. Which is just punch. Oh yeah. Actually, why uh, we just play this sneak attack and deal the two damage. Not use this. So the red queen is defeated. Goes into the victory display. And last action. Uh, we'll move here. Force route one clue. He's ready. This moves on us, engages us, hits us for something. One damage, one horror. Are we dead? No, we're. Uh, one damage and one. Uh, two damage and one horror away from getting deleted. So. Pretty near dead here. But at least we killed. Got some victory points from that. Okay, and there's one clue here. And I can try to kill this guy off next round and try to move to the eighth row. Okay, uh, no enemy actions. I'll go to upkeep. Sneak attack, great. Again, a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom encounter card. Is deepening dusk. That's your location. That's location you get plus one shroud. Shadow enemies at that that's location get plus one fight and plus one horror. Well, no shadow enemies here yet. Okay. 
Uh, let's look at these cards. Do we need them? No. We put them down. Then we get uh, this one. Then I will evade. No, I will breaking and entering. And I am um, investigating uh, seven versus four, zero, we pass, we get this clue, we evade this enemy, that's great. We will move here. So force when there are one or more fewer clues at this oh damn I, I missed this one No Yeah I, I missed this one damn So we had a Yeah so we had this red pawn here which, uh, before we do anything else, yeah, we uh, got this, evaded that, then we will second action, yeah, we're not moving here yet. Because we forgot this spawn, so uh, we yeah we got hit once so we are one damage away from getting defeated also yeah this is getting too clutch okay uh, we are trying to evade it we evade we do a free fight oh yeah we Draw a card for the evasion. Lucky. Forgot I have those in the deck also. Okay. So, yeah, we do the free fight action. So we are fighting four versus two. Yeah, we are not spending any weapons. So, four versus two. I need to save the money. I, I mean, I don't have the money to play that other card. Minus two. This is dead. Last action. We will move here. Now we get to review this. So, force when there are one of your clues at this location as an addition, of course, to investigate this location, choose and discard a card from your hand. Okay, well, that, that is annoying. And we entered, so we advance. King's Castle. Through the swirling darkness, you charge up the steps of the Red Castle and burst through the towering double doors. The Red King sits at the opposite end of Grand Hall, seated languidly in a grand skeletal throne. He does not make any motion as you enter. Though the shadows leaking out of his hooded cloak begin to pour in with increasing volume, check the campanile if the investigators went through the looking glass, spawn the set aside Red, Red King Obscure Overlord at the eighth row. If the Red Queen is not in play or in the victory display, spawn her at the eighth row. So we, it's in the victory display, so. So we don't do anything. Okay, and we get the Red King. And which one was it? Obscure Overlord. Let's read this. Are we in trouble? Okay, one combat, four health, three evade, alert. Red King cannot make attacks of opportunity during investigate actions while there is are 
more than one clues or eight row the red king gets plus two fight and retaliate force after an investigate discovers any amount of clues from eight row deal x damage to the red king where x is the amount of clues c or c discovered with 32 hits for one brain so uh Yeah, I shouldn't have moved him here, but that's life. Yeah, I, I made a mistake here. So, I, I thought this guy would hit for damage, and I had the French coat still. Okay, well, absolute pin. The Red King utters no commands or cries of alarm, but his minions pursue you into the castle as the shadows try to blot the light out behind you. Your only resource is triumph here and now. Move and unengage chess enemy according to his mind. Blah, 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 blah. I'll check if the Red King is defeated, advance. Mm -hmm. So, fortunately, we end our turn here. This guy hits us for that one horror and we get defeated by horror. Well. We are defeated, so we read the... I'm just double checking that this enemy does hit. So it doesn't... it's not aloof or anything, so it hits normally. One horror. Damn. Okay, well... If Red King is in victory, Red... Pawn takes queen, otherwise free queen. I'll say so. Pawn takes queen. After several minutes of protracted battle, the tenacious red queen collapses to the ground, unable to pursue you any further. You take a moment to catch your breath, breath and have barely rested a, a moment when you hear a loud call nearby. Oh. Uh, so the white knight approaches uh, on his horse and promptly falls off, but just as quickly stands with a lot. Oh, what a glorious battle that was, young pawn. Few, uh, few are able to keep pace with the queen at all, but you have done so splendidly with skills such as yours. Why, I dare say you have the makings of a fine knight within you. The knights lack of perspective is oddly refreshing amid the horrors being wrecked by the shadows, and you give him an appro ap appreciative nod. In your campalog record one telemark under strength of Wonderland. In your campalog record that the White Knight reveal revels in your victory over the Red Queen. If the investigators reach a resolution, proceed to that resolution, otherwise go to resolution 1. You abandon the prospect of victory against the Red King and flee the chessboard fields. The landscape tears as you flee, ripped apart by the sudden surge of shadows while the Red Jesus rushed forward to finish the defenders. It seems as if you may be overwhelmed as well, but the shifting landscape opens up a gap in order orderly hedgerows. You dive through without hesitation and uh, hunker down as the land around you shudders in destruction. Minutes pass, and finally the wild din fades, replaced again by an eerie silence. You emerge from the hedges to find the entire battlefield now marred and blasted by a dark surge. Bodies of defeated chess pieces lie strewn about the fields, most of them cracked and contorted from whatever force ripped them apart. You glance in the direction of the Red uh, King's castle to see it, it as you first did, a red shard in dark waters. Slowly you make your way back towards the ruined defenses of the White King to search for survivors. Scattered stone and derelict pillars are all that remain of the White Castle you first set out for, from. Many of the missing chunks of masonry look as though they were bitten or clawed apart rather than shattered. The trail of destruction leads directly to the throne of the White King. You find his body on the steps of his throne, shredded to
to unrecognizable state, but for the crown he once wore. You realize now just how deeply the shadows have divided one man. The two sides may have once met in combat honorably, as the white pieces expected to fight, but Kurant Naka's corruption transformed the red pieces into remorseless monsters that share its hunger. You depart solemnly to recuperate and find new battlefield to face the shadows upon. In a Campbellock record, the white Na king was slain by the red pieces. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. Check the Campbellock. Uh, if the investigator went through the looking glass, go back to the in to interlude the lion and the unicorn. Okay, so we got victory points two, three. So three victory points only. But well, that's better than nothing, I suppose. So uh, again, I will go through the interlude because there's a lot to read in that uh, off camera and uh, explain what I decided in that uh, in the next video. But this was the Fool's Mate uh, scenario in the fan-made campaign Alice in Wonderland by The Beard, so hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.